Hey, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I want to talk about garbage, garbage, and the cost of hauling off garbage. This is something that we tend to not want to face and admit to ourselves that it's going to cost us a lot of money just to haul off the garbage on a job site. I can budget anywhere from five to $7,000 just to get rid and pay for garbage, garbage removal. This here is a dumpster I have on a job site. I want to walk you through how I use dumpsters and when I don't use dumpsters. Uh, most of the time the dumpster is really heavily used at the start. Framers can fill that up with all kinds of waste like you can't have imagined. Uh, in the image I'm showing you right now that I'm dumping, this is at the local dump that I took yesterday in my own trailer on another job site. That is the total waste of a frame job of a home I'm doing up in the north up in the mountains. That there cost me $50 to dump, all right? If I were to have a dumpster on a job site, given that it's so far out, that would have cost me close to $350 to have a dumpster placed there and then I have it removed. So there was a cost savings just to have, because I had a trailer there, I had a trailer of my own, I just put that on the job site temporarily and then I had all the waste put in, into that job site. So on that job site, I'm actually using my own trailer to haul off trash. I need to control costs on that. This one here, I have a dumpster here. Now, I don't try to allow for the dumpster to be emptied all the time. You don't want that. I had this dumpster up on the street and it was getting filled by the neighborhood and I got tired of that and you're gonna find that to be a case. You need to take your dumpster, if you're going to use a dumpster, and push it back on the lot and don't allow for it to be empty. <laughs> if it's gonna be, like right now, this sounds ridiculous, but I'm allowing for this to stay full right now because I've got my drywaller in the, on the job site and he's got his own dump trailer, all right? So I, by keeping this full, I'm forcing him to use his trailer because he's got drywall, boxes of mud, all kinds of stuff. He'll fill that whole trailer up with his own trash. And it's a new trailer because I've been pushing for him to get his own trailer because he's been using my dumpster. And I told him lately, I said, so if you want work, you're going to have to haul off your own own trash and it's saving me and my clients some money. So a lot of subcontractors they will create a huge mess. Well I believe that the drywallers especially should haul off their own stuff especially the boxes and the wasted drywall otherwise they'll load up your dumpster and that's heavy material. They tend to charge you on the weight that you're hauling off not the the bin size or what have you. So you can actually try to control your waste removal by just being smart on how to make some subcontractors deal with their waste and meanwhile you'll deal with the general waste that everybody's producing. Electricians is hardly any waste, plumbers. HVAC can produce some waste, a lot of boxes. You're gonna find that you're gonna have a huge amount of waste during the framing and rough stage of the home. Then when you get into the finish, there's a moderate amount of waste. And then near the end, there's a ton of waste. Boxes, appliance boxes, all that kind of stuff. That just weighs things down, and it's a lot of waste. So if, you were to, if I were an owner builder, and I wanted to go after and try to save on the cost of the, the waste, I'd try to find a used trailer like that, because as long as you have the equipment to pull that, and I'd park that on the job site, and then I would go and dump it to the dump. And here it was just 50 bucks. This one here is $50.50 on the image of the dump that I just took yesterday. And that was a load bigger than this trailer. It's about five feet longer than this trailer you see right here. And then at the end of the job, if you want to keep that trailer, you can keep it or sell it, and then actually come out almost... Uh, on a huge savings. You have to weigh these things out and do a cost-benefit analysis. What's the return on investment? But if you're going to be an owner builder and you don't have any way to haul things off or bring things to the job site, you're dependent upon the lumber yard to charge you $50 to $75 and even higher than that for delivery costs on just about everything. You're going to have to absorb the cost on a dumpster and that could range anywhere from 10 to 15 dumps and they can range anywhere across the nation from 350 to on up to $500 just to haul that, that, that uh, this is a six yard uh, waste bin off and get rid of all of the trash. So you can be smart and try to control that cost as best you can. Be smart about trash removal. 
If you're not proactive on it, this can run you ragged and it can cost you a huge amount of money. Now, I don't deliver a dumpster on the job site until I absolutely need it here. If it's here on the job site too early, it's going to give the neighborhood a chance to fill that thing up and you don't want to do that. In fact, I don't even have a dumpster arrive until after framing's done. I make them take all the framing and put it in a pile because I typically fish through that framing and I take out uh, stuff that can be burned. There's a couple of ladies I know that in my particular community where that's how they keep their home warm is they've got a stove. So I fish that out, put it in my truck, take it, take it to her home, and then I put the rest in, into the dumpster when I'm ready for the dumpster to get here. It can tend to be in the way during excavation. It can be in the way during framing. Why does it even, even need to be here? I don't even, just pile your wood. Wood is not a waste like paper and glue and, and drywall mud. It's not like that waste. It's just wood and that can sit out in a pile until you absolutely need to fish through it, put it in the dumpster. And the other thing is, is to, like I said before, keep this up front, but you've got a porta potty, which I've got up at the front of the street here, and that you want to have accessible to a lot of people, uh, and you don't want that to be in the way. Put it off to the side, keeping it away from the power line, keeping it away from the water line, keeping it away from the gas. If you know where those utility lines are going to go, then you can place either this or the dumpster or the porta potty. Back in California, they called it an Andy Gump. In other parts of the, of the world, they, pay it, they, they call it something else, but here they call it a, a porta potty. But make sure you place those in, in areas where they're not going to be in the way, especially during the, the trenching of utilities. So think about the cost savings on, on trash. I mean, it, it can be costly. I know in, in some parts of the country, it's north of seven to $10,000, especially in a large home. That's a huge chunk on your home. Now, if I knew that, that I was gonna spend that much money, I'd just go buy a trailer, park it here, and if I, have, if I had a friend who has a truck, I'd pay him 50 bucks to go dump it to the, to the dump and, and be good and, and save hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Anyway, I wanted to give you some uh, uh, heads up on trash. Make sure you have a line item in your budget that you've got trash removal. <laughs> And my average on my homes for about a 2,500 square foot is about $5,000 that I factor in for cleanup and trash removal on the job site. And put that in the budget even if you can save. That way if you save, now you've got extra padding in the budget to use for other things. Like I've always said, don't lie an item to zero. Make sure that in your budget you've got the real cost of everything and that's what you need to run on. If you don't put that in the budget and you need it down the road, you, you don't have it because you didn't put it in the budget. So some words of advice on trash. We'll talk some more on this. You guys take care. This is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home.